Oh, we're here. We are here. Yo! <laughs> Yo. Oh. What up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Oh, man. Welcome to my new lease. Um, I've actually had it for a little while. This is a, a pond that I used to drool over when I was young. I used to hunt a big sand pit over here, and I used to drool over this. I've uh, been leasing it for about a year or two, and I got the bright idea to pump it. It does not hold water very well. I will show you how it actually gets water and how it loses water. But back in the day, y'all, back in the day, when we got rain and when this stayed full during the hunting season, this little little timber hole kind of, it's just, uh, it's awesome. It's, it's beautiful, shallow, hard bottom. Um, I used to watch lessers, cacklers, and mallards galore dump in this thing. So uh, I got the bright idea. Hey, let's pump some water to it. It is fully legal um, to pump water from a permanent sand pit water structure. Um, pump it out into a field, into a pond, whatever. So got permission to do it about two hours ago. I couldn't believe it. My jaw hit the ground. Uh, he was like, do whatever you want. You lease it, Bob. And I'm like, no way. Well, thank you. So this will be huntable. It's the first time this year. Uh, gonna have to spend a lot of money in fuel and the pump but this is what we got going on i am afraid so we made it we made it to th this is how much i have left this was my last last 50 foot hose and we will walk it out here because we have to actually go back to the big water and turn on the pump and see if our little pump our little two inch pump is going to actually pump it this far so number one you cannot take water from running waterways okay so that number one that is not legal you can't do that uh but w standing water structure like ponds um private watersheds private lakes stuff like that you can you can so if this works if this little pump i've already walked i don't know if we've what have we went we went one so we're 100 foot in. I only have 50 foot sections. Banjo adapters. This is a dry creek bottom. Yes. I have to go through that over to the pond. We're almost there. I just hope that I don't have any issues with kinks. Look, we had to whittle our way through here up over this dike down the dike just stick with me y'all oh boy owl thorns and there's the big water so essentially i mapped it out it said 100 and I don't know, 120 yards or whatever which came out to like 320 feet ish from the edge of the water to the pond. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to weave my way back there, but we got it. I bought everything, <laughs> all the all the two inch hose that uh, that Atwoods had on their shelves, which was 750 footers, 350 foot. We got us there with about four foot to spare. All right, little pump, pond way back there. I have a uh, T-post with my suction line down there. Keep, hold it down there. I've already turned on the pump without the hose attached to make sure she ran. Let's let's give her a go here. Oh, come on, baby. This is a small pump to, to pump that far. That's all I'm worried about. All right. Oh, no. Let her idle a minute. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. Come on. There she goes. All right, there we go. She's tight. We're gonna have to go and look for kinks along the way. Give it a little help here and there. Looks really good. 
Oh, she's pumping hard, boys. First fire up. Now, this is all brand new line. Thank goodness I had the pump on hand. Uh, I spent $650 and 350 foot of two inch line. And this is really good stuff. It's way thicker and better than I thought. All right, we gotta make our way back up to the thorns. Ow! Here's where I was worrying about. Holy cow, it's pumping the crap out of it. Holy cow. She's flowing. Look at her. Oh, it's tight all the way. No freaking way. 650 bucks. But if it works, man, it will be so worth it. I'm so pumped. I'm pumped, get it? We're pumping. Huh. How awesome. She's flowing, boys. We got a thick line the whole way. Back at the pond. Holy oh, smokes. I am whooped. Look at the pumpage. No way. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a win. I haven't had a lot of wins lately. That's a win right there. Wow. All right, we're back. It is roughly an hour and a half later. Still flowing really good. It is, uh, it's gonna fill up quick. This is barely over an hour worth of pumping. We have an issue uh, and it is right over here. So you can tell that this is gonna flow this way. It's gonna flow this way eventually, but it's going downhill this way. It comes to this little sliver here. And then this is a nice catch. This is a little lower, but as we go this way, uh, this is the issue. So I'm gonna have to turn the pump off as you can see it comes through here and there is a huge break in the levee that separates the pond and the creek so this pond only fills up it's a giant pond too really for being back in the trees it only fills up because of this creek which is completely dry oh, about a month and a half two months ago it had decent water in it i'd say it's about calf deep and uh, you can tell right here, the grade, the, the creek is actually higher than the pond, which is good because it flows down and fills the pond. Now, um, I don't think it can necessarily flow out a bunch. Um, I think I would just need a little bit, even some sandbags right here, but I think the best thing to do is to, because this used to be a full dike and then it flooded too many times and broke. Best thing to do is just to completely rebuild the dike here. So we're gonna put a halt to things. I'll probably go ahead and turn off the pump uh, just so we don't get water up here. Uh, my best friend, Wade, big shout out to Wade. He's gonna bring out his mini excavator tomorrow. We'll bring it out in the morning um, and fix the hole in the dike. So definitely gonna have to turn off the water so this isn't all full of water when we try to come work ground in the morning, so shucks but great news filling up fast fast enough to where i need to turn it off to to get a piece of equipment in here that's good news so i will take it as a win yet again um i could probably just go get some sandbags and and make it just a rough deal you know but i really want it to be right and i want it to to last Sandbags would probably last. Sandbag them over, throw some dirt, pack it all in. Probably be good, but might as well do it the right way. Oh, next day, Wade came to save the day. The uh, <laughs> water that I had yesterday, completely gone. It must have just completely seeped down it's going to take quite a bit of water to get this all saturated real low so it starts holding better but getting this fixed is main priority and we're already about halfway there it's going to go pretty fast with the old mini oh yeah that's way better than sandbags <laughs> Big hole. 
Alrighty, y'all. It is uh, midday, right around 1, 1 1.30. Okay, so me and Wade, uh, all the dirt work we did, we moved some dirt here. Uh, lowered this down a little bit. Um, and then over here, we dug a pretty deep hole in the center just to hold more water. And then we took uh, dirt out of here, pushed it up, filled the levee in where it's broke. Uh, this much water only on uh this is only off of one tank of fuel on the pump which y'all seen the pump very small fuel tank uh, i need to get a barrel so it will keep it going but that's a ton of water for that little tank uh we should fill up up to around here and then up here back over here around that edge and then over there we should fill up on that low spot. So it should look like a big figure eight pond. Uh, we will see, it shouldn't take much longer, y'all. Uh, so if you didn't know, uh, Wade is my best friend, uh, lifelong best friend. We are brothers. We, uh, I'm sure you guys have heard about him if you've been here at the channel for a while. Uh, we went to Canada to get together. We grew up best friends. We found dove hunting first, and then we found duck hunting together. We eventually got into goose hunting and if it wasn't for wade i would not be in the point of my life where i'm at uh owning a guide service um uh, hunting being my regular you know uh job so uh big shout out to my brother wade for always helping me out i appreciate him so much um when we were in here when we got done we were reminiscing a little bit in the sand pit we used to goose hunt all the time we never had a lot of decoys we just had some floaters and probably a dozen or two full bodies. And uh, I was like, you remember that one time we came out and uh, I sailed a Drake Mallard over these trees because the sand pit's on the other side. I sailed one and sure enough, he went in here and all morning we were just watching ducks and geese come in here. And back then they didn't have any, back then you we, there was no smartphones, number one. Number one, I think we had the old Nokia like look like a brick uh, i think that is uh before the razor came out before the blackberry came out uh so we did not have an online app uh of a map where we could see um where the landowners lines were it was very very black and white back then and um i remember selling that drake back here and seeing mallards come back here and i didn't want to cross a creek because i figured the landowner changed and i would get in trouble for trespassing and um, just goes to show what technology actually provides, I guess, where I'm going. Uh, I can remember him going, well, just go get it. And I'm like, no, I'm not going on that landowner and getting in trouble. He's like, Bob, just, it's right there. Just go get it. And I can remember being scared, you know, it's when we first started waterfowl hunting. And, and uh, I was like, man, can you imagine if we, if we would have known back then this pond was here? Because back then, I can guarantee you every single year this was full. Uh, I can promise you because I always seen ducks going in it every single season. Um, but yeah, just we didn't know. You know, I didn't know. And uh, it's just, it's, it's cool. It's an awesome feeling. In, to be in my hometown and be able to, to do all this. Um, eventually uh, lease properties that I've always dreamed about. Flooding or maintaining or hunting having the rights to hunt them, getting to know the landowners and farmers. It's a blessing. I truly enjoy what I do, if you all didn't know. Uh, and I appreciate you all being here. If it wasn't for you guys, I would not be at this point at all. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly thank you guys so much. All right, all right, all right. Check it out. Uh, at about uh, four o'clock yesterday, I filled the pump up one more time. I marked where we were when I left, and we're all the way up here now. Uh, I did that just because I knew the pump was gonna run out of water. Um, you know, after, or, sorry. I knew the pump was gonna run out of gas eventually and shut off, and I wanted to see if the pond dissipated, if it leaked down, and if we, you know, how fast we would lose water, and we didn't lose any, so. Um, I think it just took enough water to, 
you know, get everything wet again real deep, seal up all them big cracks because you know how um, soil like this gets when it really dries out, you get huge cracks that are real deep. <sighs> I just got done shoveling, working my butt off, check this out. So this will be the second day of full pumping. Yesterday, I guess it was only about a half day of, of actual pumping. Uh, probably pump all day. See if we can get our water line up here. All right. Well, it's probably been two or three days since um, you guys have been here at the pond with me. Uh, I've been babysitting the pump. Um, seems like down on the sand where we're headed. Um, whenever the pump gets a little off kilter, uh, it will not run the entire fuel tank dry and it will uh, shut off unfortunately so keeping it level at all times has been a babysitting uh, management issue <laughs> but other issues uh, everything else is going really good uh, the pond is full almost still do some more pumping but for some reason man I spent 680 bucks or whatever on all this hose and it's got like I would say six or eight leaks in it already i have not stepped on it i have been very cautious on not stepping on it so i won't puncture it and i don't know if it's deer i don't know if it's raccoons my buddy jackson he thinks it's curious raccoons taking a nibble at the blue piping but he's probably right uh, so that's what i mean kind of just buries itself but it's pretty level See if it actually drained. It's pretty cooled off. Oh, that don't look good. That don't look good. B barely ran and it shut off. What in the world? Hopefully she keeps running. Gosh, I fired it up probably 8.30 this morning. It looks like it ran for probably 10 minutes. I've, uh, I've half... I've been having to just stay in my truck, camp out, on the phone with a lot of you guys that have uh, inquired to book a hunt here at Sand Hill Flyways. Just been on the phone constantly uh, with y'all and camping out, listening, making sure that the pump doesn't go off. I'm going to have to do that all day today or at least for a few hours I would imagine. So check it out. Yeah. Huge, huge leak for zero reason. Another huge leak for zero reason. And another huge leak, all right here. Five foot span, I don't get it. I do see a critter trail right there. Probably a deer trail. I was afraid that with how many, uh, how many foot of line I would end up crossing a critter trail at some point and it be an issue and I think it, I think they're just stepping on it. Dang it. Mm, didn't see that. Yeah, that makes sense. So who knows what it's actually doing. Check this out. Ooh. Uh, old styrofoam deal. It's all chewed up. There is a, looks like there's a den under there. It looks like an old boat. And then I'm not going to get too close because I don't know what's in it. That is a big den of some sort in the bank right there. So. Very active area for critters. Who knows what it is? <laughs> oh yeah, flowing mighty fine. Uh, you can tell how far it's came up. Two days ago, I put my camera out there just to keep an eye on uh, the ducks. If any ducks actually land in front of it, I think it'll work. And then here, that was the first marker I put in when I started filling it the day after. And then I went here, and now we're here. I think we would honestly be way back up in here if the dang pump would stop turning off. It's not running out of fuel all the time. Uh, when it does actually run all the way dry, I bet you it actually pumps for, uh, I'm listening, I'm like, uh, I bet you it pumps for two to three hours-ish, three hours, uh, when it doesn't shut off and it uses the entire tank of fuel. Uh, so, you know, at first I was like, man, am I going to need... Uh, one of them barrels, you know, a fuel barrel, uh, you know, 20 gallons, another 10 gallons, 
uh, just to keep it run, running longer so I don't have to come out here as much, but I have to come out here as much because it just won't keep running. So that's not gonna help the fact. Well, 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 we are back in the lodge and um, I wanted to put this out there. If any of you guys seen, I did a video um, that went extremely viral over on my TikTok. So it was a giveaway over on TikTok for a lucky winner uh, to, to bring um, a friend, a relative, dad, son, whatever here for a three day hunt. And it went crazy. It went like 1.5 million views in I would probably say two days. In, absolutely incredible. Uh, 20s of thousands of comments, shares, the whole nine, right? I was like, holy cow. This is insane. I got a ton of followers, which I never thought that was going to happen, but it did, which was amazing, right? Amazing, amazing. So what I'm getting at, if you go look at my TikTok now, it's gone. That video is gone. I have had some messages over there, some comments that I have replied to folks saying, um, <clears throat> hey, where'd the post go? When are you going give to the, give, the, give the hunt away? Yada, yada. It was literally just me filming the lodge like this and talking and blah, blah, blah. My ugly face wasn't even in it, right? Um, they took it down because it was against community guidelines. They said due to fake engagement. Fake engagement. Whatever, you know? Can't win for losing out here. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, as of now, I can't open the post whatsoever to see who commented to pick a winner. Uh, one of the things that, you know, to get entered, oh, you had to do three things. Share it, follow, like it, whatever, right? Um, the only thing to do now is to pick a winner out of the people that follow me on TikTok. That's the only way to do it. So if you've been wondering, that is uh, the story. And it sucks. I've had a lot of uh, videos. If you didn't know, my TikTok, what, a year and a half ago, a year ago, I was at like 80, 90K, completely got deleted, just shut down without a warning. So that's what I don't want to happen ever again. Uh, but you win some, you lose some. That's the name of the game. But we do have some dates available, some spots, uh, some good November spots. The 8th through the 11th of November, I can fit a few folks. Um, the 15th through the 18th of November, I can fit a few folks. The end of November, a few. Um, and if you haven't heard, I have another off-site location. It's called the farmhouse. It does not include food, meals. We still clean your birds. It's three days of hunting. It's for private groups from five to seven folks. Um, and it is a lot cheaper. I'm doing this to allow more people to afford, to be able to afford to come. It's only, uh, the price is way low, way low. If you're interested in something like that, uh, you know, cutting the budget down and still having three days here hunting with me, uh, fill out the booking form, sandhillflyways.com. It's always linked down below. You guys know the deal. Minimum two guys to book a hunt up to however many you want to bring, excuse me. But the duck pond, I will be giving you guys updates here. I don't know probably in a week or two, once a lot more of the big ducks start showing up. Um, we're getting warm, it's supposed to be like 80 today, then we're supposed to go back down. So it looks like in about four days, we'll have another really stiff cool down uh, with lows back into the 30s. So we'll be looking good. Subscribe if you haven't. I know it, the, the last week on videos has been spotty. There just hasn't been any hunting. I have been scouting public, I scouted today. There was three trucks hunting. I heard one shot, sat there for about 30 minutes scouting. Uh, it's just far and few between right here <laughs> where I'm at. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Thank you all for being here, but until next time.